For most of the workshops we run, we will help set up a hub group where participants can interact with one another and the mentor team. The hub is an online community that is built to engage participants before, during, and after the event. In order to sustain the community beyond the event itself, this engagement should be refined and relevant, and the potential for friction should be low. Here are some best practices for a positive and productive hub experience. Before inviting participants to join the hub group, we first need to create it. In order to do that, we need some information. The title of the workshop, an image for the hub group, background reading, venue information, and any other relevant information that attendees should know. Once the group has been set up, we'll register all of the attendees and include their pictures, interests, and web pages. In order to do this most efficiently, it's incredibly helpful if we have a list of attendees, including each person's name, email address, institution, website, interests, and role at the workshop. Leading up to the workshop, we use the hub to post background documents, including the call to action, relevant studies, and other publications, which help participants better understand the focus or challenge of the workshop. The hub also includes a discussion forum, where mentors and participants can introduce themselves and post thought-provoking questions and topics to further engage the workshop community. It's really useful to have one or two mentors who volunteer to keep an eye on the forums leading up to the workshop, pushing conversations along or introducing new topics as conversations evolve. All of this helps to build an environment of interaction, which really nicely introduces the level of collaboration that participants can expect during the actual event. Because the hub is such an important tool for engaging the participants leading up to the workshop, we need to put as much effort into managing and facilitating the online community as we do during the face-to-face -face event. During the workshop, we use the hub to post updates and photographs of the output in real time. This allows participants to locate ideas, questions, or potential projects in a simple and organized way. As the workshop nears completion, the hub is used to post team presentations and the feedback that those presentations receive from the group as a whole. It can also be used to send announcements to those in attendance. Following your workshop, the hub group will remain active indefinitely. Attendees will be able to access the event's output and reference the many different projects that emerged. And of course, teams will be able to continue communicating and collaborating on a private platform.